Hello world, it's Daddy Daddy One coming at you today. Uh, I've got some news for you. Um, some crappy news. This is coming from uh, WND Opinion. And it says, Black Gold Blues, Obama's Giveaway, Oil Rich Islands to Russia. And this is an exclusive Joe Miller. Sounds alarm over deal to put land in hands of Putin's Kremlin. <clears throat> and uh, you can see here he's given uh, seven of the islands off of uh, in the Bering Sea off of Alaska where we uh, had troops and stuff um, during World War II to protect us from the Japanese and stuff and has um, given that to Russia um, it says here Part of Obama's apparent war against U.S. energy independence, including foreign aid programs that directly threats my state's sovereignty territory. Um, he's talking about Alaska there. Um, the people in Alaska weren't allowed to vote on this. This was done behind closed doors. part of Obama's war against U.S. energy independence. And um, over here is uh, where the new line is. Okay. These islands here, here were part of the United States. They are now Russia. It's over here was U.S. territory. It is now, see, U.S. Islands. U.S. Islands. But it's, uh, it ain't no more, folks. This is the other story about this, uh, Obama administration is giving away seven strategic islands to Russia February 18th, 2012. And, uh, you know, this is, this is disgusting and sad. Personally, I believe, uh, I believe it's a plot to keep Russia from attacking us once we go to war with Iran. Okay, here's the, uh, There's what is now part of Russia. Journey Cape B, Southeast. Now, now Russia. Welcome to Russia. A bunch of bull crap. Look at that. <clears throat> Look at that, y'all. Sad. But that's where the line goes from there. All the way. Up through here. And there's the... Um, another point it goes up through here okay this here used to be the United States territory it used to be part of Alaska which was uh 
Wrangler Island. The back room deal. I guess that thing they may they, they think that that's gonna keep Russia from uh, breaking bad. <laughs> what a bunch of fools. What a bunch of fools. That ain't gonna make no difference. I don't think so anyway. But anyways, uh this is just disgusting to me. I mean it even goes way to here, y'all. This used to be US territory. Benita Island. Untitled now. Over there. Anyhow, I'll uh try to post the links up here for you guys. Um, like I say the line comes down here like this. And comes and cuts this off over here. We no longer go to here and go up all the way into here. We've given it up. Not we, but these people that think they know what they're doing have given it up. There's just another uh, little map. See, all this used to be the United States. But it ain't no more. They got it all. They got this now. They're creeping up on us. Creeping up on us. And that ain't gonna stop them. When they, uh... When they jump on them, they're, they're not gonna... You know, it's not gonna stop them. Anyways, I hope everybody's doing good. And, uh, oh yeah, check this out. Colorado student who refused to sing song praising Allah quit school after death threat. Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? We can't pray in the schools no more. But if you don't sing a song about praising Allah, you get death threats. That makes the dudes quit school. Mm, it's just freaking ridiculous. But anyways, this is Gateway Pundit. Um, I hope y'all are doing good. And, uh, I've tried to post videos and stuff, and I've tried a lot of things, and they they have the hands on the button. They're controlling a lot. I don't know if this video will get out or not. Anyway, God bless and good luck to us all. Chatty Dad 1, over and out.